So, Mr. Larbeck, you must be very pleased with the result. Yeah, I am, but uh, I'm not surprised by the result. It's, uh, it's uh, sent a clear message, and what I want to say is this. Um, thank God we still have independent courts in this country. Thank God we still have a free press in this country. It's uh, one of the last remaining bastions of democracy in this country. And I hope the result in this case today sends a clear message to the government and the police that the courts and the community will not tolerate attempts to interfere with citizens' rights to uh, demonstrate peacefully. Uh, Mr Priestley was detained overnight, he was deprived of his liberty on charges that were ill-founded and ill-conceived. And I'll be giving him certain advice in relation to possible legal proceedings against the police for wrongful arrest and false imprisonment. Do Occupy Sydney protesters plan to continue to sit in swags on Martin Place? Absolutely. Sitting in swags in Martin Place does not constitute camping, as Her Honour found in her, uh, her judgment, and she found there's no case to answer. What was your client doing that night? He was in his sleeping bag trying to keep warm. He's a homeless person. Why do you say he was arrested? He was arrested because the police wanted to clear the place out and send a message to the protesters that they're not allowed to, to be there. Do you think this is going to cause tensions between police and protesters? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I understand that one of my colleagues, Stuart Littlemore QC, is um, going to be instituting proceedings uh, on a constitutional basis in the High Court. So this is certainly not the end of the matter. Is that still homeless now? Yeah, he is. So would it be different to you think if it was a person who wasn't homeless or arrested? Quite possible. But I think what will happen now is the, the police will reconsider their position and they'll now lay different charges uh, in an attempt to uh, have protesters removed from the site. Is this less about a protest and perhaps more about a group of homeless people wanting? Well, no, I think it's about a protest. I think the government quite clearly uh, sees events that are occurring overseas in Syria, Egypt, things that happen in Libya. The government wants to send a message here that uh, the government and the police won't tolerate the protesters in this country uh, doing what they're democratically entitled to do. Thank you. Thank you.